Hi dolls and welcome back to my channel. Last week I was asking my Snapchat fam for some ideas for a Daisy bridal look to recreate and I got a ton of requests for Faryal Makhdoom's bridal look and I've been wanting to recreate this for years so I'm super excited that I finally got around to doing it. It's very different for me, very heavily contoured and a really dramatic Arabic style eye. So I'm excited to show you guys how I created it. And so the lehenga that I'm wearing, it's gorgeous and it's from India Boulevard, which is an online fashion store and they do custom desi outfits and what really makes them unique is that one it's completely online so it's easy it's all made to measure custom designed super affordable so it really gives you that couture experience but from the comfort of your own home which is amazing all of their in-house designers are hand-picked and have super high quality standards and they have a ton of experience i'm talking 25 plus years in fashion and designing so you will be in good hands all of their information is linked below in the description box so let's get on with the tutorial First things first, I'm going to add some hydration to my skin with Tarte's Marine Boosting 4-in-1 Mist and then I'm going to color correct. So I'm using the new Lancome CC Cushion Color Correcting Primers and my cat kicked me in the throat and cut me so I'm just neutralizing that red with some green and then I'm going to take some peach and put it under my eyes and over my acne scars and then some purple lavender is going to go on the apples of my cheeks to just brighten up that area and I just wish these primers were just a little darker for women of color because I love the formula of these they don't really budge and move around and from you know on camera they all look kind of white but they have a beautiful color under there and as you can tell now that I'm adding my foundation it's just a beautiful opaque finish like you can't see any of those scars or anything underneath I really like those primers I just wish they're a tad bit darker so now I'm going to cream contour and I'm gonna contour heavy and I'm using my Anastasia cream contour kit which is a little dry of a formula so I just added a drop of my Farsali rose gold elixir to it and I do have a discount code and everything is in the description box below that was a long contour highlight process so now I'm going to bake my under eyes and all of my highlight areas with my Laura Mercier secret under eye brightening powder and I'm just using that same beauty blender to apply it And now for eyes. First we're going to tape our wings because we're going to do a very dramatic eye so this is going to make life nice and easy. And for eyeshadow we're using my friend Laura's new palette. Congrats Laura. It's gorgeous. It's the Violet Voss slash Laura Lee palette. And I'm starting with the color Alabama and I'm just working that into my crease with a fluffy brush. And now with the color Basic I'm just going to blend that crease color up into my brow bone. And now I'm going to highlight my inner corner with the color Sugar. And before we go in with our black shadow, we're going to lay down a base for that shadow. So this is the Tarte Clay Pot 
gel liner and it's just a black gel liner and I'm patting it on with a little concealer brush and then I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of buff the edges out so it's not too harsh. And now I'm gonna pack on black shadow. This is the color Lou, which is named after Laura's little cat. That reminds me a lot of my little cat. We love cats, we're cat ladies. And now I'm gonna take that crease color again, but very little, make sure you tap your brush off. And I'm just going to make sure that the edges of that black is nice and blended without adding too much new product. And now I'm gonna take the color Bitty and just pack that onto the inner half of my lids. Sorry if um, the earlier close-ups were kind of out of focus. I just have the worst habit of leaning in and leaning away from wherever I focused it when I start doing my eyes. Like, I'm holding the mirror. I don't know what I'm leaning towards, but it's so annoying of me, but at least here, it is in focus. So I know I already highlighted the inner corner of my eye, but after I applied Bitty, I wanted something that popped even more. So I'm using the color Tickled Pink, and I'm using a lip brush, by the way. I just feel like it packs on more pigment that way. So now the tops of my eyeshadow is all done, so I'm taking off my tape and just patting away any imperfection left behind from the tape. And now we're doing the eyeliner. So I'm using the Tarte Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. One side is a felt tip liquid pen, and the other side is like a retractable pencil so obviously I'm using the liquid. I haven't done liquid liner on my lower lash line since college, so I was a little intimidated, but I think I did a good job, and it's crazy because I used to wear my eyeliner like this all the time, and like without lashes too. Like imagine what harsh of a look that was. I was crazy. Don't worry, we'll get to lining the waterline in a sec. I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and some Q-tips and I'm just kind of gonna soften up that wing and just soften the edges a little bit just so it's not so, so harsh. But now for my waterline, I'm using this eyeliner from Guerlain and it's a lot like an old school Desi eyeliner, so I like that. It's like a cone so you can blink right over it and get your tight line and waterline at the same time. brushed away all the powder we're curling up our lashes and now we're gonna move on to cheeks so we're gonna bronze and contour very deeply I'm using my Guerlain terracotta bronzing powder in the number seven or shade number seven and I believe these bronzers are reformulated and now this color is actually number five I'm not positive but that's what I saw on makeup by Shayla's snapchat <laughs> I guess we wear the same bronzer color so that is what I think. My bronzer is pretty old. So I just contoured my whole face like that. And now for lips, I'm lining my lips with MAC Lip Pencil in Hover, which is my favorite neutral brown for my skin tone. And now my lipstick is Honey Kiss Me by Faryal Makhdoum. I had to use her lipstick since I am doing a look inspired by her, of course. And now continuing with cheeks, this is the new Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection palette and I am wearing the blush color Pample Mousse and I'm just using this Japanese brush and I'm just dusting it over the apples of my cheeks. And then for cheek highlight, I am wearing Prosecco Pop from the same palette. And 
And so the last thing to finish off our look is lashes. So these are Iris Beauty lashes in the style Athena. And this is the completed face. So obviously I put on my jewelry, now I'm gonna change into my India Boulevard lehenga, and what a beautiful finished look. This is one of my favorites. I'm so glad I stepped out of the box with this one, and judging from Instagram and social media, you guys really loved this look as well. So thank you so much for the amazing feedback. Thank you so much for watching, of course. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me out so much. And don't forget to check out India Boulevard and follow them. I have all of their links below in the description box. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.